and I'm not just talking about famous people. You know, I'm talking about, you know, just people who can do things well. Athletes, um, actors, uh, comedians, um, uh, singers, uh, Broadway show people. You know, it's interesting to me that in, in all the hate that, that Trump has been spewing towards uh, Latinos, towards blacks, towards women, you notice there, there's one group that he hasn't touched, and that's gays. And that's, I think, part of that. He knows that the, that the power of the gay community in the entertainment world where he walks is very, very strong. And so I actually think that uh, gay men in particular can be helpful in getting under Donald's skin in the same way. I mean, he does have some history of slamming lesbians as unattractive, you know, because that, that is, you know, that's his thing. He wants, women have to fit a certain model for him. Uh, but the, I, I think there are different groups of people, and I, I haven't, exhausted the list of the kinds of people and I want you all to start thinking about this and if you get ideas email me and you know we'll keep trying to develop these ideas because uh, if Trump is the nominee and I presume he's going to be the nominee despite all the efforts to stop him uh, and, and even if he's not the nominee Another strongman type is going to come around in the future, so we might as well get in a little target practice in, in taking these kinds of leaders down. Because these, again, are the norm for presidents around the world. And in the confusion of changing times, of technology, of, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the increasing d gap of, between the rich and the poor, the United States is becoming more and more subject to this kind of strong man authoritarian rule and all it takes is somebody like Trump to ignite that. So th that's basically my thought is like how to get into his head to make him screw up. <laughs>